tell everyone, uh, there are seven, over seven billion people in the world, uh, most living to succeed in their various endeavors. The underlying inspiration being, you know, self-fulfillment self and individual accomplishments. But there are those that live every day of their lives uh, in reckless abandonment of their individual accomplishments. But instead of maybe unleashing the God-given potentials in others, their sole purpose. These people are catalysts, that's what I call them. How does one begin to describe the impact Sharon Shobo has had on the voice over industry globally? I first encountered Shobo as an 11-year-old kid struggling to find purpose. I had walked into the Fountain of Life Church for the first time after having been invited for a youth's fellowship. My first impression, this dude sounds inspirational. He's down to earth, he's vulnerable, relatable, and he had this distinctly, powerfully captivating voice. His message to us was inspirational and got us all dreaming of accomplishing great things even though most of us lacked the financial resources. <laughs> I was inspired to dream of going to college in America, medical school and uh, residency training and all of that. I had all these dreams. Now those dreams eventually became fruition. Shobo's voice, a deep echoing sound and his great leadership has helped shape the destinies of thousands of young people over the last few decades. He has provided them a platform to harness the gift of their voice. He has hosted lectures to nurture and sharpen this gift. And then he has positioned them for opportunities both globally and locally. The vision he has birthed uh, has, has led to, the, to partnerships with many international brands, Google, YouTube, Premier. And apart from the many projects that he has been involved in directly, as a voiceover talent, the organization he founded has been involved in over several hundred major projects for some of Nigeria's biggest brands, spanning across several se sectors, finance, healthcare, telecommunication, and even oil and gas. Current alumni uh, are some of Nigeria's leading voices. At least four of them, I, I noticed, have been nominated for the Voice Art Award. I think one, of, one actually won today, tonight. His goal to become a pioneer of voiceover in Africa has produced the Voiceover Academy and the Voiceover Bank, and has earned him numerous recognitions. To give you another perspective, recently I visited Lagos and um, Nigeria's commercial hub. Shobo and I were riding together in the car, and every five to ten minutes, a voice ad would come on, play on, on, on the radio, and he would literally tell me like which one of the voiceover academy's former students or alumni uh, created the ad. I was just like, wow, that's literally every five to ten minutes. It was, it was nuts. Ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen uh, it's my tremendous honor to present this award and introduce to you my brother from another mother, a trusted friend and mentor actually, Shem Shobo.